guys, we got us a Jack Russell Terrier. Now, one of the main reasons I chose to get a Jack Russell Terrier is because they actually can do work. You hear the work all the time. You hear us say work in many videos. What does work mean? What does work look like? Well, if you saw the previous video of us, uh oh, purchasing them, then you got to see the dogs, what they call do a little work. So stay tuned. We're going to break it down. I love the American Bully always. What I told you, we got 10 years of work to do there. So most of your terriers are going to be working dogs. When you think about a Jack Russell one, this is the one we got. She's holding. Shout out to Rock Bottom Kennels, I believe. We walk in and look, they got a whole wrap, a wrap, a rat system in here. Look at these rats. I never seen so many rats in my life, <laughs> and I've killed five at the crib before. They poke holes in this PVC pipe. They screw the top on it and put a little rat in there. The reason why they do this, they don't want the dog's nails to get caught. I love, and I've said it many times, a dog that can work. I come from the old pit bull German Shepherd space. And, excuse me, it's been challenging to deal with a dog that can't walk half a mile. Challenging. Maya was the first challenge I really faced coming back to the bully world. So I told you guys, we've got 10 years of work to do in creating the dog that we want to create and one that can live well, live long, and do great. Because we're active people, we live an active lifestyle. 20 years the American Bullies have been around, 200 years the Jack Russell Terrier has been around. This couple here has been breeding Jack Russells for 30 years. Can you imagine actually going to a bully breeder who's been doing it for 30 years and all of his dogs? Not only look the same, they can all do what they're supposed to do. Bullies are a companion breed. I understand to be someone's companion, you don't require much. I still believe that the dog should be able to do walks. So we then put the dog she puts a lot say yo can you give us a live demonstration for one she feeds them these these little rats you know rats ain't as bad as i thought i'll tell you that i thought rats were bad but i say look i can i can do this and uh they breed and as you know they multiply she gets an old rat she don't like look at that joker there that's like shredder <laughs> or uh you know what's the what's the rat from uh, ninja turtles uh splinter splinter there we go she might be known as the so we got Splinter right there, old decrepit. She's gonna throw him in that thing. When she puts him in here, she then tosses it, takes it outside, and he built a custom one. Now this thing here is unique because he welded it himself and he puts that in a maze. So he builds a maze, two dead ends in the maze, and at the end of one, there's a rat in that container because that's where the dog's supposed to get to. I tell you, we learned so much yesterday. It was crazy, so this dog, she gets she gets she's like going crazy so in my mind I'm already thinking how can I make this better I hate that there's like the little hole so we're gonna see if a BB cannot get through that hole if a BB can't get through the hole not only can we make it bigger so we can get Tron, Ego, and Hera on there but we can turn around and when the rats begins to move it'll start making noise so now we have a rattler <laughs> and the dogs will drive that thing all over the yard and that's what you call work but that's another opportunity to work and we also saw was that's real prey drive how do you create prey drive we've been doing it with a rope <laughs> we've been doing it with a with a flirt pole look he's gonna chase a chase a rabbit one day now let's give him some real prey and pray that he goes to work <laughs> so we're gonna be showing you some things over the next what couple weeks and um one of the things that i'm super interested in is putting one of the rats in here with him <laughs> and uh, just letting him get familiar. And then as he investigates it, we start driving, 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 create the drive per se. Then we're gonna go to some play dates and this is itself is gonna be a journey. Then I'm gonna use him to motivate the other dogs. Jack Russells are special dogs. And if you, I'll tell you a fun fact. Jack Russell Terrier was one of the first dogs to ever have its star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I believe Australia, or one of the, the countries where it's really fancy, there's a Jack Russell that played in over 40-something commercials, and it aired for over 10 years. And the only reason why they stopped airing it was because the dog died. <laughs> so they just wanted to respect the owners, because imagine turning TV on every day, and if you real connected to your dog, and it was on TV the whole time, and you just looking at him on TV, say like, dang, I wish we were still making money, or, or getting commercials. So, we're super excited. Jack Russell Terrier is the first dog we're getting as we continue to build out my dog subs, my dog tools, and our dog business. We said we're dog men. We're going to prove it. 
Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs, people. The general is here. We got a lot of work to do.